My cat's on my lap like a freak. So you may hear some weird humming. That's him purring. What's up, dudes? I'm dude, to the year now. My name's Seth, and we are back here. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. Today, I thought we would play on the beautiful, most giant dragon in the game. Like, seriously, this guy is gigantic. You want to know why? Because the original mod of this mount was actually based on the Squeaker's skeleton. Now, that makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? And that would be really, really cool if the dragon Dragons would actually take like different skeletons of different creatures instead of always just having the same one. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this dra dragon, but man alive is it gigantic. Like compare this side to side with any other dragon in the game and it's insane. Why don't they have deathmatch in the hub? Seriously, what's wrong with the devs? They're gonna add the mini games to the hub before they end up adding deathmatch. Hello, you stupid idiots. Do you sell anything new? No, you don't, I could buy another one of those is it even tradable or would you actually could you actually buy another panatatar and it would be untradable <laughs> That would be really interesting to know, wouldn't it? I, I don't know. I don't want to risk it, though. Uh, but anyways, thank you to Mr. Daragoon Destroyer, spelt with an I instead of an O, and Counter Cow. We're going to be giving away bloop, squeakers, speaking of which... It's a flying rat, <laughs> bashful love bug, and a pink budgie buddy, yes. And as for what we're gonna end up doing as far as the adventuring goes, we're just gonna be doing the same old stuff, the same old stuff. Now, today is actually patch day, everybody, so I, I, I'm actually recording this before the patch notes have even gone up, so I'm sorry to say that I can't exactly say what is included in this patch, but I think think. Oops, there's U9 right there. Do they even have a Sky World up here? No, they don't. That's so weird. Oh, what a beautiful building. It's like a skyscraper. Oh, and I like that floating island over there better. <laughs> the skyscraper took a lot longer to make for sure, but I just like floating islands, don't you? Uh, but I know that there's something very interesting on the test server. Uh, apparently, if the devs actually stuck to their word, there's something very interesting on the test server, so you should probably check that out. If you're wondering how you actually get on the test server, you have to have a character at level 20 here on the live server. And then it's just going to be available to you uh, if you go and uh, just, when you're starting up the game, you just launch instead of the North American or European server, you will just see the uh, PTS, like the uh, public test server or player test server. I don't even know what that means anymore. <gasps> but anyways, did you know, fun fact everybody, that the European and North American servers don't really make that much of a difference in this game? Um, you can actually play with North American players and European players, regardless of which server you end up being on, because you can actually join the other person. Now, that, that's kind of funny, because that kind of explains why the servers are kind of poop, but uh, yeah, uh, we've already talked about that in, in, in many more detail anyways. Oh, we actually got a throwable pinata off of that other freak. I still recommend that you hold on to all your pinatas, everybody. Unless, wait, is that event done today? Bleh. I can't tell the date based on that, but yeah, now you get to see that I'm recording this a couple of days ago. I, I kind of have to, though, especially because of the craziness that's been going on lately with, uh, well, yeah, lo lots of stuff, lots of very, very much hype things. Scarlet comes in like less than two weeks, man. I'm so pumped about it. I gotta be careful though because even though I'm feeling fantastic doesn't mean that this stupid sickness is gonna not come and attack me again. So I want to let you all know by the way folks, yes, everything that you think about Canada is true. We do drink uh, bags of milk rather than jugs of milk. Don't anyone that's from Canada, don't tell anyone the correct answer in the comments. Uh, we also ride polar bears. I actually have a pet polar bear. I call him Bobo. That's who's always sitting on my lap. It's not my cat. I, we just call them cats out here. Uh, my spirit animal is a Canadian moose, as you may or may not have noticed in the Skyrim series. <laughs> um, but most of, most of all, it's cold out here, you know? Like, that's the thing, too, is uh, Scarlet, who's my fiancé for, like, a million zillion years, right? We're, we're in love. We've been talking to each other for a long, long time. Get over it. Uh, but needless to say, 
She's actually, because she lives in America, she's never experienced winter. Like there's, there, there is winter out there for sure, but she's never actually seen snow. So that's the other thing too, is as she's preparing to actually come over here, you know, uh, I kept telling her like, it's like, oh no, you're not gonna be able to uh, come out here with just a hoodie, sweetheart. You're gonna need to get your hands on a proper winter coat. And now she's actually got one and is thinking that it's like, Wow, this is a really heavy jacket, and it's like, um, that's what it's like out here in Canada. You know, my Canadian brothers and sisters out there, you all know what it's about. Like, seriously, it's absolutely, it, it gets freezing out here. Like, I actually used to live in uh, Winnipeg before I ended up moving, and oh man. That was actually the coldest city in Canada. Like, legit, it actually had the record for it, and... It, <sighs> Like, you, you would freeze to death in a night. Like, it was insane. You'd have to wear, you know what ski pants are? I know I'm talking about things that are completely unrelated to Trove, but how can you blame me? There's nothing to commentate about about this game anymore. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I thought I would just kind of clue you all in and let you all know a little bit about my uh, personal life and what's been going on. And one of the big reasons why I ended up getting so hardcore sick is just because of uh, the cold that's been going on. Like, it's been nuts, and it's probably going to stay like this for a couple months. I, I'm hoping that we can get... There's a three-star dungeon. You may or may not have seen it in the Jurassic Biome. We've never got it on camera. I've seen it off camera, maybe only two or three times, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's actually a giant floating island with uh, chains connecting it to a bunch of huge rocks or totems. And it's just, it's beautiful, man. Like, I absolutely love that dungeon. One of my all-time favorites. Where are we supposed to go in this place again? Uh, is one of these guys a boss? No, it isn't. Where are we supposed to go? No, like seriously, what, what, what are we supposed to do in this dungeon? Huh? What are we supposed to do? Is it something that I'm just missing or is it just that broken? Like seriously, is it in the middle? I don't care. We're going to do this dungeon legit no matter how long it takes. Oh, there it is right over there by the stupid fire things. Rip me. I knew it was just right in the open. Jeez Louise, and here I'm thinking, oh, what's going on? This, how'd this dungeon get accepted? It's so broken. Not really, it's just confusing. Ooh, Stella drop on camera, nice. And as I'm recording this, it is still the event. Ooh, ooh, that is an insane find. Crit damage second stat, not only that, but it's got three pearls and three stars. Wow. I am gonna use that on one of my characters. That's that's a free stellar right there, and then I can just sell one of my radiance. Hee <laughs> hee. That'll be a lot cheaper than uh, trying to forge one up myself, because that only needs a couple extra pearls. Man, alive. That is such a good find. That might actually be one of the, uh, actually no. Actually, no. There was one stellar that I ended up finding that was uh, fully starred, uh, and then there was another one I think I found that only was missing Oh, what was it? I think it was only missing like one or two pearls. That was that was an insane find. Now, technically speaking, yeah, I should sell or give away this stellar item, but I've been giving away a bit too many stellars off camera, folks. Like, really, I have, and I'm not just lying and saying that. Like, ask Cool B. He's been getting tons of them from me, that little squirt. <laughs> but needless to say, I've been giving away a bit too many stellars without considering the fact that the reroll of the second stat event is, uh, has been around, right? Or at least it was. It might already be over right now. I'd have to check the dates. Sorry if I'm getting that all wrong. But needless to say, we're out of pots. We could have died right there. Um, I should have been using them myself because then I could just re-roll the second stat. And uh, I, I'm trying to kind of as a soft goal, uh, get my hands on like full set of Stellar on every single character because I'm pretty close to just casually doing it. Like it's not like I'm hardcore going for it. That's why I say like it's a casual goal. Ah, ah, no, he can destroy me in one shot right now because we're the Neon Ninja and we're squishy like that. Yes. T-Rex, T-Rex time. Die, yes. It's too bad that this biome doesn't get much more fun in the sun, doesn't it? Like, that's the thing that's very disappointing, is this this biome kind of came and went with the stupid Dino Tamer. One thing that I wish, 
This is just this is just casual on the side, and I'm gonna say this just in passing uh, before we call it for today. I wish that the devs would play other video games, and more specifically, I wish that the devs would take a hint from League of Legends and stuff like that, where they would oh this would be so complicated on console. Oh man, a live platforming like this would be insane. Not to mention the fact that there's all the rubber banding and lag. Uh, but anyways, uh, as I was saying, the whole reason why I keep saying that, or I say that a lot off camera, I don't really say it in the episode so much, right? But I really wish that they would take a page from that, like from League of Legends and stuff, because it's like, even League of Legends, which is one of the most popular games ever, like it's right up there with Overwatch and stuff like that because of the whole competitive tryhard thing. But it's like, even they're not stupid enough to make it so that all the characters only cost money. Yeah, you you grind out for like 50 zillion years to end up gaining the classes for free, but at least the option's there. The only point that I'm trying to make is I wish that the devs would get over themselves and make classes for cubits again, even if they made them 20,000 cubits or something like that, you know, it would it would have made a lot of more people actually play this game and stick around, you know? Which, on top of that, I wish that they would also listen to the people and start making classes everybody wants. As much as I love the Dino Tamer, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love that character, nobody likes him. Nobody wanted him to come out. Everybody wants a character that punches things, like Goku, you know? Uh, but anyways, I'm digressing and just rambling about stuff. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you have a fantastic day. Sign and stay up. Believe in yourself.